to your readings for this is really the 10th through the uh, 22nd <clears throat> now I want to apologize I am in the UK I'm in London right now um, but I was in Nottingham and um, I wasn't in a place where it was conducive for me to do these readings I'm afraid um, I did do Capricorn um, so I might put that up as well, but I've, um, I intend to do them all today uh, while I'm here in London and hopefully get them uploaded. Wouldn't that be lovely? Um, so let's see how it goes. Uh, so I'm sorry about that. I'm Mary Trimble with Live in the Solution. And um, I just want to talk a little bit about uh, astrology. Now you can, I will put in the description box below, I will put the time frame that if you're checking out your sun, moon and rising, because these are for your sun, moon and rising, so if you're checking out more than one video, um, there will be uh, a number for which you can escape and you know fast forward to. I will put that in the description box. There'll also be links to the other videos in the description box. And that's it. If you would like a personal reading or hypnosis session, you may check out my website at liveinthesolution.com or email me mary at liveinthesolution.com um, and we can set up a personal reading for you. Um, okay, so now on the 2nd of January, which is obviously already passed, um, Uranus went direct and now all we have all the planets going direct until March the 9th. That's highly unusual. Um, and that is for over two months, we've got everything going direct. This is a perfect time for action, to start something new, to uh, make an intention. Now on the 16th um, of January or the 17th, dep depending on where you are in the world here in the UK, it's the 17th. In America, it's the 16th. Um, we have a new moon in Capricorn. Now, during that time, we have six planets in Capricorn, right? That's Capricorn is a cardinal sign, right? And cardinal signs are where things, it's a spark of energy. It's where things start. You know, it's wonderful uh, uh, inspiration and... Um, a time of action. Now, so we have the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Saturn and Pluto all in Capricorn. And we also have Uranus and Aries in Aries, which is also another uh, cardinal sign. So this is a powerful time to move forward and definitely an important time to meditate because you'll get downloads of information and uh, set your intention on this new moon. Who am I? Where do I want to be? What do I want to do? And because all this is, we have this also beautiful grand water trine um, going on. So it's earth and water. It's this beautiful energy. Um, so there's some opposing forces going on, yes. Um, but I think it's almost like a balance. It will balance things out. Uh, definitely plan for your future and optimistically. This is a time where you can really put a plan of action uh, together. Um, so without further ado, uh, this will be the intro for... Oh, and listen, thank you so, so much for all your likes, comments, and shares. Really, really means a lot to me. Thank you. Um, I do this for you and I'm very happy uh, to do this. So um, without further ado, let's go to your readings. Thank you. Hello Aquarius, and welcome to your reading for 
Welcome to your reading for January the 10th through January the 22nd. Uh, there's a significance there somewhere, don't ask me where, but that's what I was directed to do, the 10th through the 22nd. Um, that's what my spirit wanted me to do. Now, the first card that came up for you, Aquarius, is the Queen of Wands, right? Um, well, first of all, let me give you the download of what I wrote for you guys, you know, because I meditate first and I do this. This is the personalized message. Um, socialize, even if you don't like going, if you don't feel like going out, force yourself to go out, accept invitations, because this could lead to a very important opportunity. Uh, Plan an optimistic future and make sure you write down your intentions for the year. Who are you? Where am I? Where do I want to be? That kind of thing. And ask yourself those questions and write that intention down. Uh, the intro explains why. Anyway, so your first card is the Queen of Wands. Darling, she's the socialite. She's like, she's, okay. She's interesting, right? Because she has it all. She's a fabulous wife. She's an incredible entertainer. She is the life of the party. She's passionate. She's an incredible businesswoman. She has it. She's a wonderful mother. She has it all. Um, she's very balanced. It's funny because I did get balanced at some point looking at your cards. Um, so she's very balanced. Um, well, let me put it this way. She's fierce. She's a fierce protector, right? But cross her and woe be told, you do not want the wrath of the Queen of Wands. So I definitely think it's about going out. And you have the qualifying, uh, clarifying that you have the Five of Earth. So... The Five of Earth, right, indicates to me that you are kind of in a place, some of you, obviously this is a general reading, is in a, uh, you're in a place of deprivation. Um, when this card comes up, it's asking you to look at alternative forms of abundance. So it's like a wealth, it's like... Uh, seeing your glasses half full, focusing on what you have, being grateful for what you have. Because when you're grateful for what you have, you attract more gratitude. And abundance, I, you know, I say it all the time, right? Thoughts are uh, electric, but feelings are magnetic. So if you're feeling deprived, you're just, you're not going to want to go out. You're not going to want to accept those uh, invitations. However, if you don't, you will miss a really uh, important opportunity. So it's about putting yourself out there, no matter how you feel, and start, you know, working on feeling abundance. It's like being grateful for little things that you have, you know, as and not focusing on what you can't have or what you don't have. Uh, come back down to earth <laughs> and focus on what you have. Uh, feel wealthy with your friends and look the next card is the ace of coins that's the beginning look things are starting to pay off Aquarius be patient this is the start like your hard work is being rewarded so um, have faith that things are going to happen I'm sorry I'm reading something on So have faith that things are going to happen, and they will. Now clarifying that, right, is the Queen of Air. Brilliant, brilliant a businesswoman. Um, she's extremely intelligent, very educated, perhaps a little cut off emotionally. Uh, she's been on her own, and she can, she's, you know, she, this is, um, you need to tell your truth, darling. You need to tell your truth. Whatever you're holding back, it's a really important time to be authentic right now because people will see through, uh, for want of a better expression, bullshit. <laughs> people will see through it. This is, they can see through 
fakeness, they can see through a facade, they can see through, uh, through you. This is about, you know, having that eyesight and we're moving into that. It's more important than anything. It's really important uh, to be authentic. Be you. You are, you are unique. You are the only thing that's different from everything else because everything's been done. <laughs> everything's been done in one form or another. Now, we also have the strength card, right? And the strength card is about tackling things in a diplomatic way. It's about being in the moment. Come back to the moment, right? It's about not being in your head. It's about being grounded. Enjoying this moment for what it is, you know. Self-control. It's about, you know, really controlling your... Raising your vibration. You know, look, when you see your glasses half full, you're raising your vibration. You are attracting, you know, more of what you're grateful for. So that's abundance. The law of attraction, darling. And here we go again. Look. Crying over spilt milk. The five of cups. This is emotionally, uh, you know, feeling like you can't have something. It's focusing on what you can't have. Listen, we all can't have something. We've all been here, right? But it's, it's like, okay, I can't have that because really you have to trust in the bigger plan, right? Because that probably wouldn't have been good for me. But I thought that that's what I wanted, right? But that's being taken away, being removed because something better is coming for you, is arriving. So you have to trust that your, uh, trust that the universe is going to provide something much better. Source energy has your back, darling. You've got to come out of this. You know, there's no use crying over spilt milk. You've heard that. Let's <laughs> move on. Sweep it up, or mop it up and move on. Um, and clarifying that, right, is the high priestess. Go inside, darling. That's going to help you. When you meditate and you go inside, there's this wealth of information and magic and power and knowledge that when we tap into when we when we meditate we tap into that it assimilates into us it comes to us as inspiration ideas you know sometimes we get these ideas and we think God, why haven't I thought about that before you know it's all it's been there it's just you haven't quietened your mind to allow it to come to the service because when we meditate, what we do is we clear out the clutter. We're decluttering our mind, right? And we have this, uh, we have a clarity where this knowledge and wisdom can rise up and we can assimilate it and put it into action. So see your cup is half full, Aquarius. Go inside, meditate, be inspired, um, tap into that wonderful knowledge and energy within because you can create your own life. You are the creator. Don't be the victim. Get up and take action. Mwah! I love you all and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. For a personal reading, please email mary at liveinthesolution.com.